Hey guys, that my gamer back here for another video. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Sniping with that my gamer. Guys, you literally are destroying everything when it comes to showing support for this series. And I love to make the series, guys, and I'm so happy you guys are loving it too. So now we are on episode 13, guys. Let's get right into it. We have new sets in the game, guys. We have a new, uh, a new set, I believe. And that is going to be Burn Badges Elite Exchange. Now, this is going to add two elites and an elite badge in order to um, actually complete this um, set. And the elite badge is now up to 30k because of this set. So if you invest in the elite badges, you made your coins back. And you made a lot more. So I should invest in the elite badge. I would I would have so many coins right now, guys. I should I always invest in the elite badge at the beginning of Madden. I didn't do it this year. I regret it so much. Anyway, this actually came out because this actually was glitched this morning. So Friday night draft, as I told you about yesterday, guys, that actual like draft thing was kind of weird. So at 7 a.m. this morning, they took it down. It was supposed to be taken down at 10. They took it down at 7 because there was a glitch where you could do all the sets and get the players so freaking easily. I don't know how the, it, the glitch happened, but apparently that was a glitch at this morning. They took it down at 7 a.m. And they actually released everything. They released the new Legends at 7 a.m. They released this set at 7 a.m. They released everything at 7 a.m. It was really crazy. And just all together, if you were on at 7 a.m. you and you were doing the draft, I don't know if they're going to compensate you your badges because if you, technically speaking, they said you have until 10 to do it. So that might be, you know, something possible they do. Um, other than that, guys, possible new sets in the game that could be added very soon could be Sheffler Stars, which was last year what they did. It is pretty much like rising stars, rookies that are doing amazing. And they could possibly, you know, be added to the game. Which, if they do get added in the game, the one thing you want to look at is expiration date. Now, when it comes to expiration date, guys, remember, if these uh, sets do expire, just like last year, I think they're going to bring it, this whole concept back. The, most of the times when the sets do expire or they have expi expiration dates, they most likely will bring a lot of sets that do expire back in the game eventually. So if you guys do want to invest, it, it's very tricky to know, but you could lock up your coins for a very long time or not a long time at all because if the sets go out of the game, they most likely will come back in the game, which means that most likely there's a chance you make a lot of coins that way. Um... Other than that, guys, playing Friday Night Draft Champions could be the move. Now, hear me out here. So, as you guys know, when you do play that, you get badges. If you lose, you get one gold badge guaranteed, okay? If you um, win, you get, you know, you can have a chance at elite badge, elite dra uh, FDN badge at the end. If you put six of those badges together, you get a uh, you get a random elite that you can sell, which is a random elite meaning um, a random elite FDN player. So those players go for a crap ton of coins. That honestly almost could be the move, guys, because you can make a lot of coins. That Odell Beckham is going probably for like 300k. You know, different elites. You could really make a lot of coins just by playing draft champions and draft champions ranked and head to head. I think it is too. So that definitely might be the move, in all honesty, by just playing that. Because that game mode could really just grind out everything. So definitely something to look forward to, guys, is Friday Night Draft Champions. I don't know how they're going to change it. Because obviously next week they're going to want to alter it a little bit. Especially with how OP it was this time. Especially with how glitchy it was. Because guys, honestly, you know, if there's a chance... That we can, that there's like any chance that we can, um, you know, get a one up on EA, I guess you could say. We're going to take it, you know. If there's a coin making opportunity, I'm definitely going to tell you guys. And I'm definitely going to make sure we all, me and all my fans, can actually take advantage of it. So, <laughs> definitely remember guys, stay tuned for the channel. Because if there's ever an opportunity where there's like, I find out a trick to make millions upon millions of coins. I'm making a video the second it happens. I'm not even going to do it for myself, guys. 
I will show you guys how to do it so anyone who watches that video right away before it gets patched can make millions of coins too. And I, I will risk me not taking that time to make millions of coins just to help you guys out because honestly you guys give me so much support so I'm the, I just want to get back as much as I can to you guys. I will be doing giveaways this year so don't worry I will be giving away cards. Um, obviously right now I'm not because I'm using all my coins for Mutt Master. But later down the line, I'll probably have like a couple million coins. So I'll be giving away cards very frequently. So definitely remember guys, show your support and definitely, um, you know, keep commenting. Because I love when you guys comment. That's my favorite thing, honestly. And let's shout out some commenters today. Because I definitely, like that's my favorite thing to have, guys. It's when people comment. I, I love that more than anything. So let's go into some commenters. Patrick G, thank you so much for saying. He said, congrats, bro. Um, keep it up, man. Uh, love it. Try to post more on this, which I did comment back to you, man. Uh, absolute. When uh, I said, um, I have 15 episodes of this series, guys. So if you guys have not seen the whole series, go back on my channel and um, let's go watch it. It's actually in a series playlist. So you can stop at episode one and watch all 15 in a loop. And you can just watch them all. Um, Cowboys fan uh, said, dang, I'm probably going to open up some packs now. I don't know about that, man. I did pull a legend, guys. If you did not see it, go back on my channel and check it out. But I don't know if I would open up packs. I got very, very lucky. And that's all I got to say, guys. Packs are so bad this year. That was my first elite. Tell me how my first elite pool of the whole year is a legend. How? I don't know. But let's go on to the next comment. Um, the Lurk King, you said, um, glad I found the channel. You have one question. Do you think the captain sets will be back? Should I invest in cheap elite players? Um, I think the captain sets will be replaced by, um, the, you know, the man of the month set. But I do still have faith that the MVP sets will be back when Road to the Playoffs comes out. And that really could be a big way to invest. Because, what's called, those sets, they're going to have to have something in them, guys. And... There could be a maybe a base elite that actually needs to go in those sets. Obviously, I'm guessing they're going to kind of mess around with the wild card sets. But we have seen last year where they have wild card sets and then they have base elites. Like one base elite and then all wild cards. So that could be the move, guys. But right now, I'm saying that's very tricky. Um, next up we have here is Tyler Sinclair. You said, yo, love the uh, channel. And then you, yeah, you told about what, what I should, um, you asked me what you should invest in. If you have 300k, the best way to invest, guys, is go into the auction house, set the tier to all, uh, all player gold, and go by every single team, and just try to snipe the 400 coins gold cards. And if you can do that, do the set, the 10 badge set, for about, if you do that, you, you can do it for like 400, uh, about 400 coins. For, you can do it for about uh, 2k and you most likely make coins back. That's the that's the pretty much mojo right now. If you guys want to try to, if you have a lot of coins and you want to invest into that, doing that I think could make you a lot of coins overall. But it just takes a lot of coins because you you're gonna have like 10k on the auction house selling, and you want to have some coins so that you can continue doing it. So next guy we have here is Hunter B. He said, "Dude, love your videos." Now I don't know if this was actually a um, insult or if it was like a compliment. But he said, dude, you sound like the guy from the Big Bang Theory. I'm guessing you mean Sheldon. I'm just going to take a guess. You probably mean I sound like Sheldon. So I don't think that's an insult. But if it is, whatever. Thanks so much, man, for commenting. Frost Eclipse said, you should think about streaming. You could, it would be really cool if you made these tips live. The only issue with streaming, guys, is I don't, I don't, in my current situation when, where I live, I, I can't make live videos, okay? I just can't. I, I'm sorry, guys. That's just how it is right now. When I move out down the line, I'll make live. I'll do live streams. I'll do that stuff all the time. But for right now, I cannot make live videos. Sorry about that. Um, uh, Hobbs. Uh, okay, I I'm gonna bust your name. So sorry about this. But Hobble. Oh uh, no, Hob Lizzie. I probably bust your name. Yo, love your channel, or uh, love your video, keep making more. I will always make more. I guarantee you that I will make, you know, I love making videos for you guys. I love being a YouTuber, and I'm never going to stop doing that. Um, 
the um Gabe Burchett said you e are you ever gonna do a face reveal anyway? Uh, thanks for the NBA gameplay. Why? Well, once my team comes out, I mean, once NBA 2K17 comes out and my team comes out, I'll be doing NBA my team videos on this channel every single day. Um, I have like eight, nine, ten videos on this channel and my other channels that um I have face reveal guys. I have I'm not no stranger to showing my face off on this channel. It's just the fact that I know a lot of you guys are new, so I'm not gonna like complete hound you, but I just don't have a face cam. I, I've done face reveal, I've done so many videos. My 100 subscribers milestone, I actually did a face reveal. So if you guys have not checked them out, go back on my channel and you can like look on my channel and I probably have like 30 or 40 videos maybe where I do face reveals. I actually do a whole entire Drive Champions gameplay where I actually do, like I show my face off. Um, oh yeah, Ross, Dion, thanks so much because you said it was GS that said that and yeah, uh, my that's why I got it from the whole... Uh, don't test the user. He's so disrespectful. That was uh, Mr. Golden Sports. Um, here we're, John or uh, yeah, Joe Brown. You also doing Mutt Master with me? You said that you gotta do the team challenges. Man, I'm not looking for that either. That's oh my god. That's so many. That's gonna be so many guys. I don't know about that. Um. Oh yeah, and then this actually was my favorite. One of my favorite comments. Um. From S J Knight or S J Knight 1301, you said you're new to the game. You really like my content, and you're learning a lot faster by you know watching me. That honestly really touched me, man. And thank you so much for commenting that, and thank you so much for everyone who commented, guys. That just all together, I love being able to see that you guys comment. So the more you comment, guys, the better. If you think like, oh, you know, I don't usually comment comment you know take don't go and do it because i love to see you guys you know giving your feedback having communication and i will apply to every single person that comments i always apply to people guys i'm not gonna if you comment i will talk right back to you if you have a question i will answer you thank you so much guys for watching please rate comment subscribe like for more videos see you guys in the next complete this um set and the leap badge is now up to 30k because of this set so if you invest in elite badges, you made your coins back, and you made a lot more. So I should invest in elite badges. I would, I would have so many coins right now, guys. I should, I always invest in elite badges. At the beginning of Madden, I didn't do it this year. I regret it so much. Anyway, this actually came out because this actually was glitched this morning. So Friday night draft, as I told you about yesterday, guys, that actual like draft thing was kind of weird. So at 7 a.m. this morning, they took it down. It was supposed to be taken down at 10. They took it down at 7 because there was a glitch where you could do all the sets and get the players so freaking easily. I don't know how the, it, the glitch happened, but apparently that was a glitch at this morning. They took it down at 7 a.m. And they actually released everything. They released the new Legends at 7 a.m. They released this set at 7 a.m. They released everything at 7 a.m. It was really crazy. And just all together, if you were on at 7 a.m. you and you were doing the draft, I don't know if they're going to compensate you your badges because if you, technically speaking, they said you have until 10 to do it. So that might be, you know, something possible they do. Um, other than that, guys, possible new sets in the game that could be added very soon. Could be Chef Los Stars, which was last year what they did. It is pretty much like rising. Hey guys, that my gamer back here for another video. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Sniping with that my gamer. Guys, you literally are destroying everything when it comes to showing support for this series. And I love to make the series, guys, and I'm so happy you guys are loving it too. So now we are on episode 13, guys. Let's get right into it. We have new sets in the game, guys. We have a new uh, a new set, I believe. And that is going to be Burn Badges Elite Exchange. Now, this is going to add two elites and an elite badge in order to um, actually come back in the game, which means that most likely there's a chance you make a lot of coins that way. Um, other than that, guys, Playing Friday Night Draft Champions could be the move. Now, hear me out here. So, 
as you guys know, when you do play that, you get badges. If you lose, you get one gold badge guaranteed, okay? If you um, win, you get, you know, you can have a chance at an elite badge, an elite dra uh, FDN badge at the end. If you put six of those badges together, you get a uh, you get a random elite that you can sell, which is a random elite meaning um, a random elite FDN player. Seeing stars, rookies that are doing amazing, and they could possibly you know be added to the game. Which, if they do get added in the game, the one thing you want to look at is ex expiration date. Now, when it comes to expiration date, guys, remember if these uh, sets do expire, just like last year. I think they're going to bring it, this whole concept back. They're, most of the times when the sets do expire or they have expi expiration dates, they most likely will bring a lot of sets that do expire back in the game eventually. So if you guys do want to invest, it, it's very tricky to know, but you could lock up your coins for a very long time or not a long time at all because if the sets go out of the game, they most likely will